I feel it a great honor that I have been asked by Mr. Raghavan to release the revised book that has been written by Mr. Raghavan. Let me start by Congratulating Mr. Raghavan for his work, which is being formally released today. I believe this is this has been updated the earlier publication was done six years back. And uh, I'm sure that the updating has been quite useful. It is said that we can choose our friends, but not our neighbors. I think this is a old adage. In, in, yeah, and it is more so than international politics. India and China have been the holders of great civilizational legacies that mankind has known. Well, we have also had good neighborly relationship over a period of time. But the relationship became a bit uncertain and at times very hostile. As a result of which, today, we stand at the threshold, they culminate, uh, they culminate in certain border conflicts, but we continue to engage each other uh, with a a sense of trying to mend our fence. The center or this? The center one? Okay. Tell me when you're ready. Yeah. Dr. what do you have to say about the book launch here? You're here today. Yeah. Hi, I'm Dr. Sharmila here. 
and it has been a very special moment and an honor to attend this book launch dividing lines by dr raghavan um, being a doctor i would just like to add that it was definitely a very uh, different experience and also i have a lot of respect and a um, lot of uh, uh, goodwill towards somebody who's really following his passion it's always a pleasure to hear somebody and get inspired by someone who's started as a doctor and then he's following his passion because i believe that's what life is about and that's what we all uh, should be following so just uh, want to congratulate uh, mr raghavan on a uh, attending and touching a very sensitive and important topic about the indo china uh, relationship and what happens around the border and uh, it was also a great pleasure um, attending the launch where we got to see um, mr boni kapoor and tabu doing the unveiling of the book so congrats uh, mr raghavan and all the best thank you ji ji so what would you like to say about the book it's a good book uh, everybody should read aisi cheeze padhni chahiye ताकि जो हमारी अगली जनरेशन को पता चले कि अतीत में क्या हुआ बाकी ये बोलेंगे सी uh, जो 1962 इशू था वो बहुत बड़ा इशू था और इंडिया के लिए तो मैटर ऑफ प्राइड रहा है uh, हम उसमें क्या चीज़ सीख सकते हैं और क्या चीज़ वहाँ से सीखने के बाद हमारी आर्मी ने अपने अंदर डेवलप की ये एक बड़ा इशू था और आज इसके ऊपर बुक आई है तो ऑफकोर्स एवरीबडी शुड हंड्रेड परसेंट स्टडी द बुक और पढ़ के पता लगेगा अभी मैं भी बुक को पढ़ूंगा लेकिन जो मुझे राइटर के विचार लगे दो वर्ड सो ब्यूटीफुल लगता है कि बुक बहुत अच्छी होती है सो जीएसटी एम इसके बारे में आपका क्या विचार है जी एस टी आके एक साल हो गया इसके बारे में आपका आपके क्या सी वन टैक्स वन कंट्री अच्छा रिफॉर्म है और मैं तो हमेशा से ही इसके पक्ष में था पिछली कुछ गवर्नमेंट से नहीं हो पा रहा था आपकी बार हुआ है तो और अच्छा इट्स गुड फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ कंट्री जी एस इज़ गुड कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन बबू जी देंगे बबू जी के शुक्रिया लिखते रहें ऐसी चीज़ें लिखते रहें अच्छा है हमारी तरफ से कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन हैं और इस तरह की चीज़ें आएंगी तो ये ये लिटरेचर क्या है कि आपको गाइड करता है तो आना चाहिए इन वेरी मच कॉन्ग्रेट्स टू थैंक यू सर दिस आइडिया केम बिकॉज आई वॉज इंटरेस्ट ऑन द सब्जेक्ट एंड आई फाउंड दैट देर वेरी लिटल लिटरेचर ऑन द सब्जेक्ट विच इज़ ईजिली एक्सेसिबल टू अ कॉमन मैन मोस्ट ऑफ द अकाउंट्स दैट वर रिटर्न carried with it certain biases so and uh, there was a lot of misinformation spreading around on the so uh, topic it was a very simplistic explanation like what what was the reason for the conflict people tend to blame it on the treacherous act by china people tend to blame it on the inefficiency or uh, partisanship of the then defense minister krishna menon which i thought was too simplistic so actually i got time to read about what the topic about 10 years back and then uh, once i read up i found that there are a lot of misinformation actually going on the field So I thought I should jot down the points, and then it took the shape of a book. Idea is to see the facts, offer the facts in a language which is simple, where people like me can understand that. So, what, what is the highlight? If you have to talk about the highlight, the book, the USP of the book, what would you want to say, and how long did it take for you to actually pen it down? You see, the USP of the book is uh, quite simply it is a narrative which tackles the whole problem of the border dispute, right from the uh, legacy days of the British Empire, right through the Uh, period f between the independence and the war and the post war this thing and the updated edition that is coming is because the first edition was brought out in 2012 and it got a fairly good response so there was a stream of thought that the events that took place post the war uh, after 1962 which have a bearing on the events of today should also be penned out so that was a reason for this updated edition coming out okay, tabu is coming to the book launch uh, is there any like reason or Any about it, uh, you, people in the panel discussion, people yeah. on the board today, which is launching the book, which share more details. Sir, the external affairs minister, former external affairs minister, Krishna Ji is coming. Then the people who are, other people who are coming are all people who are experts on the topic of China. They are all part of think tanks where uh, the functioning of China, the relations between India and China, the bilateral relations. the other factors that have effect on the bilateral relations these are people who study the topic on a daily basis these are actually professionals who 
study the subject very seriously and very in terms. I am a very amateur person, so my view is basically the view of a layman. And actually, uh, we all learn a lot by listening to them, because there are people who know more about the subject. So, GST completes one year in July. What are your thoughts about it? It is something which has started one year back. Uh, in one year, the first year is the most difficult one. We had a, a period where government actually took down the difficulties and made a lot of concessions so that life of the industry was easier. Looking back, it's a year of satisfaction, but there's a lot of work ahead also. So juggling between two professions, which one do you find the most um, uh, you know, engaging uh, out of work? No, this is a work of passion. The other is a job. So how much time do you devote to your passion? I mean, obviously, writing a book is not easy. It takes months and days and uh, you know, a lot of time goes into it. So how do you balance that? Uh, it, it's, as I said, it's a passion, it's a hobby, so I make sure that I devote at least two hours a day to reading. And writing is part of that. So, I enjoy doing that. Talking about your favourite chapter in the book, if you would want to talk about it, which is really, you know, it was intriguing and was, uh, you know, most, you know, you have your favouritisms every time. So, what was that one point that you think? You asked me the most difficult question of sort because the whole book is a labour of love. So, from the page one to the last page, I love all the pages. If, if you look at one particular, uh, it's very difficult to come out with one particular page, but I, I would say the, the chapter on uh, forward policy is something which is closest to my heart because uh, it, it was...